Hi guys, it is T-Bone Pearson here. I am working on a real estate video and my uh, hard drive is full on my computer, on my back MacBook Pro. So I have hooked up a external hard drive, a solid state drive, and I just wanna change it so it's not saving it to the um, computer which is full. And I always forget how to do this, so I thought I would do a video for myself and perhaps others to quickly change uh, it to the external hard drive. I always forget where it is because I'm jumping back and forth from Premiere Pro over to Final Cut Pro. Um, so it is File, Library Properties. Let's click that. And then over here on the right, you want to modify the settings uh, because my Mac OS is full to the brim. Modify Settings, uh, Media, I want to choose, uh, there we go, we'll go to my external drive right here, new drive D, and I'll just choose that, uh, motion content, um, leave that cache, let's choose and put it onto the hard drive, and say choose, new drive D, backups, uh, let's choose as well. We'll just send everything onto this hard drive because I'm sick of my computer telling me the hard drives. Uh, even this one, can we do in library? Let's just leave that one alone. Okay, so now let's go to OK. Move your render files. Uh, we'll say include. All right, so now hopefully we've got the spinning rainbow wheel. Hopefully it will to stop squawking at me about my full hard drive. Oh, oh, that's because it probably hasn't rendered yet there. Um, so up here on the on the top left, we see Final Cut Pro probably use moving the rendered files over to my analyzer for optical flow. So it's doing some work there. But so, anyways, guys, hopefully that helps someone. Uh, I had forgotten how to do it, so I thought I would do a quick video. Uh, please give me a, a like, a thumbs up. A, uh, and a comment below if this helped you out. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.